Yo, what's going on guys? Markstrom here. And today I want to run through a few of the default key bindings that I like to change. And uh, I'm going to explain why I utilize them, why they're important and uh, give them a try for yourself. See if you like them. Uh, I'm sure that this will not uh, coincide with everybody else's settings, but uh, this is what I like. And this is what I've come to use over uh, playing the game for the last three years. Uh, so here's your key binding options here in your settings. Uh, the first one that I find incredibly important to switch up is the uh, fire mode key. Uh, fire mode by default is the B key, and uh, this creates uh, quite a few issues. Uh, the most important being, uh, outside of the fact that it is a bit hard to reach uh, from your default WSD uh, fingers, is the fact that it is right next to V. So if you fall short and you accidentally hit V, uh, what's going to end up happening is you are going to pull out your melee. And this is uh, particularly scary, right? If you're switching your fire mode, odds are you're anticipating a firefight. And uh, if you if you pull out your melee, it's not going to go so well. So I definitely recommend taking this off uh, of, of B, as in boy. And I personally put it on my side mouse key uh, that is closest to me. Uh, you'll notice that I switch between fire modes quite often, and uh, this is uh, definitely intentional. I always like to know what it is set to, so I hit it very, uh, very frequently uh, to remind myself so I don't get caught off guard being on the wrong fire mode. Incredibly important. The other key that I find very important to switch up here is uh, discard, right? So discarding your... Uh, your loot or somebody else's loot while you're in the process of looting while also utilizing the alt click and control click commands to be able to quick loot quick equip is very important uh this makes the whole process of being on a body that you've downed and taking all the best stuff way quicker uh which is very important obviously the more time that you spend on top of a body the more likely you are to get killed off or punished for looting uh, I take this key, rather the default, which is the delete key, which <laughs> I'm not even going to start why that was the default to begin with. Uh, you have to take your hand completely off of either your ability to move your character or your ability to move your gun by taking your hand off your keyboard or your mouse to be able to hit it. Uh, so definitely remove that keybind. I put it on my mouse key that is also on the side furthest from me, right? I think about, in my mind, it makes sense because I'm literally yeeting something out of, you know, either my inventory or uh, or down player's inventory. So I do that. It's on the mouse. Super easy to use. I just hover over and you hit that button and that item is removed. Uh, super effective. And again, all about quick looting, minimizing your time on a body running the pockets. The last thing that I have uh, switched up is your ability to hold breath. So I believe hold breath here is towards the bottom. Uh, the default for hold breath right now is left alt. And uh, the idea behind hold breath is this. When you are ADSing, you are able to use this function to reduce the overall sway of your weapon while you're shooting. Uh, this used to be usable at any point, um, including point firing. This is no longer the case. This will not be effective and will not work while you're trying to point shoot only when you're aimed down sights. Uh, they have switched. Originally, the, the hold breath was on left shift, and it worked in, I guess it worked uh, in unison with sprint also being on left shift, right? Uh, which is what I got used to playing as, and I personally really enjoyed. I thought it was an incredibly effective way to do it. Uh, however, they changed it to left alt which forces you, if you're using WSD with like your normal left hand, your, uh, your thumb ends up having to be on left alt. And I just find that incredibly awkward. Uh, I'm not a huge fan. I kind of have to like tuck my thumb really far underneath my hand. It just doesn't feel good. So what I've done is I figured out a way to be able to get those old OG bindings back. So I actually have them both bound to left shift. And I'm going to show you how to do that real fast. You'll notice here in the settings and the keybinds, there are two different columns. Uh, this is column one for key and column two for key. On the far right, we have a press type, right? Here down towards the very bottom of your uh, 
of your overall actions, we have uh, hold breath. And you can see in column one, I have it set to left shift and I have it set to press, right? Now, if you go up to uh, sprint, which is right here now, uh, in the second column, I can, you can see that I've cleared the first column. And in the second column, I have it set to left shift and I have the press type set to release. By doing this, it allows you to basically activate your sprint in a very similar fashion to what you're already used to. And also by holding it um, while you're ADS, you are able to activate that hold breath function and therefore keep your spray tighter. So it's on one, one button, one key. I personally really like it like this. It feels just like it used to back in the day. So if you're an OG and you lost these settings, uh, definitely, uh, definitely check this out. Uh, hopefully that helps. I appreciate you guys watching. Let me know if there's any other key binds that you like. Uh, make sure to throw them in the comment section below and uh, maybe I'll give a few of them a whirl. Thank you guys for watching. Appreciate you. Adios.